everyone, how's it going? We're Seven Gamer back again with a brand new uh, game I want to show you guys, and this is called Marvel Strike Force. Uh, now, this game is not released in US or worldwide just yet. Just let you guys know, this game is only available right now. Pretty sure in New Zealand, all right. If you don't know how to unlock or how to open up an a an iTunes account that's you know able to download games in other countries, there's plenty of videos you can find out how to do that. I'm sure you guys are smart. You can figure it out. But uh, I went ahead and I did it and I downloaded this game. I've been playing it for a few days now. As you can see, I'm level 30. I'm going to walk you guys a little bit along the path and show you how this game is a lot similar to Soul Hunters. This is kind of a clone game. If you ever played um, uh, Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes, this game is literally a clone of that game. But it's got a lot of the same features that you see in Soul Hunters, which a lot of you guys might actually enjoy. So let's just quickly take a look at the heroes because this is what everybody's all about you know everybody's interested in and these heroes are very cool obviously it's marvel so it's going to be all of the marvel characters that you see in all your favorite movies and um these are the ones that i have unlocked right now i can't purchase anything in the game right now this is still beta it's still literally a lot of unfinished stuff there's glitches there's things that are not right just yet so it's a definitely a work in progress but i'm giving you guys an early start an early kind of a look sneak peek at uh, what's to come because this is going to be released sometime this year uh, we don't know exactly what or when yet but check it out these are all the heroes in the game as you can see um and from what I've already seen, from what I've already have played, uh, some of these characters are sick. Uh, sick. Yandu already is sick. Uh, you got Thor, probably a beast. Uh, we don't know yet right now. They got Ronan the Accuser. Wow, I got some pretty sick characters down here. Um, Nick Fury is probably the number one character in the game right now. It costs 180 uh, soul stones to get them. I'm going to call them soul stones, but I'm pretty sure they're shards in this game, so it's a lot different. Uh, somebody else is also 182 and I'm pretty sure it's our boy or our man Hulk look at Hulk 180 now Hulk is a little bit different than other characters because he is essentially a they will give you Hulk as long as you log into the game daily and do your dailies alright he is kind of like an award award hero that everybody's gonna get just by logging in right now let's go through some of these heroes so right now my top hero is um I would say Elektra is one of my top heroes. She's got some pretty cool abilities. Um, she does a lot of, let's see, stealth and sneak attacks. First, as you can already see, you just click on their ability, guys. You can see their uh, abilities. Uh, attack primary target, 100% damage. And the target is defender. Uh, apply 20% drain during stealth. Apply one, you know, bleed one time. And all that good stuff. So she's applying stealth. She's applying bleed. So it's pretty cool does a lot of damage she's essentially just a dps hero uh then you got spider-man here spider-man look at that spider-man looks awesome I mean, you can move him around here and uh, we train him you gotta level them up just like you do with soul hunters you gotta level them up you gotta gear them up as you can see they got equipment once you gear them up then you can upgrade them to the next tier all right there's a tier list and then you unlock abilities as well so if you take a look at a few of his abilities attack primary target 80 percent damage 50 percent chance to chain for 50% damage up to one adjacent target. 30% chance to gain evade. Uh, not bad. Not bad. Now, um, so far, the characters that I'm kind of into the most, to be honest, my best tank, Luke Cage. Luke Cage, as a free-to-play right now, he is a beast. This dude has taunt. Taunt ability that's pretty, really sick. Uh, one turn taunt, 60% chance to get defense up. Uh, that's really great. So he's got pretty high uh defense and hp death proof for one turn so and he this deals out a little bit of damage not that much but he's kind of just a meat shield right now guys meat shield as you can already see he's a beast punisher dishes out a ton a ton of damage uh crossbones he's a um he's a tank with some damage so he's like luke cage but he does a lot more damage than luke cage then you have your your medic here and uh, a lot of different characters that i will go into into future videos but for now, I wanted to just give you an overview of the whole game in general, alright? So, you go in, every day you do your dailies, like like always, you gotta do objectives. You know, for instance, so this one right here says, uh, play three villain unit missions. So, you go into your, you know, this is your villain stage. I'm gonna show you in a different way here. So, here is your campaign. You go into your campaign and you can choose, first one is Hero Assemble or Villains United. These are all different, two different stages. So, if you go into Heroes Assemble, 
the uh, to, in order to do these stages you need to only you can only use heroes that's how the game is separated between heroes and villains so you need only heroes you can use on these stages and then once you've already done them you can sweep them and then in this one here you can only use villains all right so uh, you would just go in there obviously you gotta fight then a little intro here boom boom a little story and then it will pick all your villains for you now I like I said it's only been like three days I played this game so far and uh, I don't have that many villains yet like these are all my villains and out of all the, these guys only Electra and Crossbones are the only ones leveled up the other ones are not leveled up because I don't want to put resources in them because I'm, I'm I don't like them just yet I want to try out some different heroes that's why I haven't really done them yet and I haven't progressed too much in the campaign so I, all I really do is just auto fight, boom, just auto fight to do the daily. And that's Bullseye there, so that's why I'm farming Bullseye. I want to see what this guy, you know, what he can do. So let's go farm a little bit in the hero stages. I can farm for Electra, but right now I'm a little bit farming for... Um, geez, I forgot his name right here. But anyway, let's go into it so you guys can see how the battle goes, right? So, battle styles is pretty unique and it's actually very, very interesting. So, they come in on these ropes, chains, whatever you want to call them. They swoop in down. And now it's turn based battling, guys. Turn based. You have your abilities down here, so you can choose. You can click on the ability and it will, you know, it can show you if you forgot what they do. This is the attack primary for 80% damage. Uh, second ability here is with his web shootings. Attack primary target for 80% damage and chain up to two adjacent targets. Alright, so I'm going to show you guys. This is Spider-Man, right? Obviously, the turn base, whoever is the fastest is going to go first. And then you can click on your target here. As you can see, I can change my target around. I'm going to go with him. I'm going to go ahead. Boom. Look at this. Boom. Boom. <laughs> the uh, uh, attack styles is awesome. It's really, really sick. They go in there and you actually see a lot of... Uh, watch the animations now there. Right now, my medic is about to attack. So attack. Watch this. Boom. And Luke Cage dodges. He gets out of the way. It's freaking sick. I love it. Now let's go here, right here, Punisher, boom, and then you see Spider-Man duck in there too. Now wave number two, let's go ahead, I'm going to target Iron Man here, because he is a pain in my anus. Like, the re I cannot finish this stage just because of Iron Man. Boom, look at this, oh my god, the, av the animation is sick. So when he kills somebody, you can actually see, look at this, boom. When somebody dies, they flow right out of the arena, it's freaking dope. And uh, you can also change the speed, guys. At the top there, as you can see, I can go to speed 2. I can go to speed times 3. Well, you know, once you've done this for a long time, you already know. But I'm not going to do that. Let's go now. This ability here. Basic utility. Boom. And then we can speed up the battle a little bit here. Some shots. Now, this is an easy stage. So I can finish it pretty easily. Boom. There we go. And one last one here. Not yet. And go Luke Cage, dude, look at this dude, he's so powerful, one hit KO, Black Widow, boom, now once you actually, and I'm saying boom, 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 too many times, I don't know why I'm saying that, but you know what I mean, boom, <laughs> so once you three star, like always, you can sweep now, auto win, and then you can just go ahead and auto fight this and get some more shards, boom, <laughs> so we got more shards, now we completed, look at all the dailies we completed from this, so let's go keep going, and boom, New level, so we made it to level 31, boys, yes. Right now, Cap is a level 50, I'm pretty sure, because the game is not released yet. When they release it worldwide, they will probably raise the cap to 80, 90, as all games do. But for now, it's at 50, and um, it's fine. It's fine by me. Alright, so once we do that, look at this, another achievement collected, and we get 5 soul stones, or shards, for Hulk. So, Hulkamaniacs is alive. Uh, let's go here because we got something here. So milestones as you play in the game You're able to complete a bunch of different milestones that you can get different rewards from So let's go back to that inbox. What do we got here events that go on all the time here guys So this one is an arena event. We're going to hold off on that I'll show you the guys the arena because the arena is a lot different than most games that you played It's not like soul hunters. It's a completely different arena. I'm not sure I like it to be honest, but You guys will be the judge of your own arena. So this is where you kind of open up chests or boxes you kind of open up to get different uh shards you know what i mean so you can spend gems to open up some shards or you can just uh you get daily ones all the time so we got one cage there and that's pretty cool 
uh let me actually go go to supplies this is where you just buy it's kind of like the store well it is the store you can if you want to spend gems or whatever you can buy things here but we're not going to do that just yet this is a shop where you can spend gems to open up orbs um first adventure orbs this so if you go to this one right here you got an increased chance to get captain america sh shards to uh, unlock captain america it's actually not bad maybe i gotta try this out hmm you know what balls to the walls guys i'm trying it let's go that's 550 shards that's a lot okay so i got two captain america and 15 somebody else but that's not that great can i summon them nope well let's collect more dailies here and let's go see how close i am to summoning that hero i'm actually getting pretty close that's aim security hmm. so bullseye i'm only five away from bullseye i'm getting really close to to, to getting bullseye and I'm kind of going up there with Jessica Jones. Kingpin. I want to see what Kingpin is all about. Winter Soldier. Ah, that's the name. Winter Soldier. I completely forgot about him. So I'm slowly grinding away, guys. Slowly grinding away at this. Um, Alright, so I've showed you that. I've showed you that. Challenges is like... Kind of like daily events that you do. Right? So everyday daily events is going here. Uh, I can't beat that tier 4 right now. Too low of a level. So I just auto-fight tier three and then you use up all your you know daily challenges hmm can i do this one i doubt it because what and it tells you the requirements all challenges have different kinds so this one only protectors and support characters are able to you know you're able to use them protectors are like tanks uh in a way and support as you guys already know are mostly healers and uh, support characters but i've got three of them that are actually pretty good so on this one, I'm going to auto fight and I'm going to do times three speed. So if you put a times three speed, as you can see, it goes a lot faster because this could take a long time sometimes, guys. Battles take a while. And out of the, the, the five heroes that I use for this one, two of them, I don't, they're only level one. I don't use them at all. These are the only three that I'm using and they're support and they're tanks, which means they're not dishing out that much damage. That's the problem with these ones now because this could take years and uh, I can already tell there's no way I'm going to be able to pass this stage yet because I'm only doing it with three heroes. And you're probably going to need a lot more. Unless you have five good heroes here. Ooh, look at that. Crossbones with his major AoE attack is actually really good. Hmm. But I might die here. Unless I get a heal for my medic. And it doesn't look like I'm getting one. There we go. Taunt. Yeah, this one is not going to go well. Oh, yep. Luke Cage is dead and I'm pretty much dead. Yeah, Crossbones is dead now. My medic is the only one left, and looks like she's about to die. Boom! So we don't know who the... I, I'm not sure who the best healer in the game is right now. That's why I'm testing out a lot of things, but... Uh, I'll let you guys know when I find out. Mm, so I couldn't beat that one. Could I beat... This one? We'll find out together right here, guys, because I have no idea. So this is number two. Maybe I should have just went for the first one. But I want to make sure if I can do part two... I'll do it, but let's see if I'm able to do it right now. And look at Hulk, dude. That dude looks awesome in here. And I can't wait to unlock Hulk. I think he's going to be... I'm going to work on him all the way right away as soon as I'm able to unlock him. But I'm pretty sure I've heard that you need to log in 30 days and able to unlock Hulk, all right? So it's going to take me a little bit, you know, a little bit longer to unlock him. But I'm pretty excited about it. All right, so I, look, I might be able to do this one because it's not as hard. Hulk is down. Captain America is down. And look, two down already, so only Spider-Man is left. Yep, yep, we did it. All right, so we got the win on that one. Only one star, which means I cannot um, auto-fight it, but that's okay. Let's go back. And then these are all the other different type of events that you can do. Challenges, I mean. All right, so that's challenges. Uh, events. They run events. Right now, they're running these events. Um, they got double crossed, and this is how I got crossbones, because uh, if you complete these events, guys, they gonna they give you soul shards, so you get five, 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 five for each one you do, and then eventually you unlock them. At this point, you get 10, and uh, the one that I have right now is plus 15 more soul stones, so I don't know if I can complete this one right now, because I'm under level, but just want to show you, and this one is running for Electra. Boom, look at that. Electra. It's electric. 
The only requirements for these ones is you have to use that hero that they're showing you. So that's why I got both those heroes actually from the events here. And uh, it's pretty cool because it, even as a free to play hero, you have chances to get a bunch of these, you know, heroes without having to spend money. So I love that idea and I think it's a sick idea. Let's collect this here. Okay, now let's move on to, to the next part, the most important part. Uh, and real quick, they have alliances, they have raid alliances, you can do a lot of things with your with your groups. But let's go into the arena, guys, because this is a lot different than normal arena style that we're used to right now. So let's go ahead and I'm going to show you. So the way that arena works is kind of weird, but it's set on a, it's like a ladder, it's like a pyramid type of thing, where you, for, so the arena is going to run for a certain, you know, a certain amount of time. So let's say... Um, this says, what is it, one day, 19 hours? I'm not sure if that's exactly the time, but for two days. And it tells you the rewards here. Yeah, so if you can beat, if you get the mile, not milestone 10, these are the rewards. It's not like a normal ranked arena where you beat somebody and you take their spot or anything like that. This is just, you just battle random people. It's always gonna, it, it gives you an opponent. And then you go into the battle, you, you, you face the opponent, you beat them, you get point for winning that battle and then you can progress i now some like for this one is actually pretty cool because all you do is you have to get to a certain milestone and uh, you get the rewards but the one that was running before this one was kind of stupid because you don't really see what rank you're at and you, so the way the arena runs is it runs for a certain period amount of time right you can do as many battles as you you can as many as many battles as you want uh you can refresh your battles because your heroes will end up losing health and you have to keep healing them up or if you have more heroes you can keep uh spending these little tickets there as you can see i have about two thousand there and it cost me 25 to do another battle so as long as those tickets regenerate you can keep using those to keep battling uh you have a certain amount of you know those tickets that you can do a day uh now as you see i did my first battle i got 256 points out of a thousand once i reach a thousand i reach that milestone i claim those uh you know, I claim those rewards, and then you just keep reaching milestone. Uh, the more wins that you get in a row, your multiplier goes up. So, as you see, I'm at one times multiplier right now. If I can get a certain amount of wins in a row, my multiplier keeps going up. But so do my opponents. My opponents just keep getting harder and harder. By the time you get to a certain, uh, certain amount of, you know, five, six wins in a row, you are facing a really, really tough team, and it's hard to get wins so consistently in the game it's really really difficult but you can't really choose your opponent they will give it for you you can hit new opponent you see you got three different choices here so you can choose any one of these three different guys that you want to face and then you just battle and then you like i said you go over here and the ranking it doesn't show you this is the, what i mean it doesn't show you who's you know what rank you're falling under right now so that's kind of why it sucks because it's kind of weird uh you see your points there you see how many you've completed already and it tells you how much time is left in the arena but you don't know where you're gonna fall so you don't know what everybody else is doing in the server you don't have no idea uh you kind of have to just keep battling battle battling, and hope that you land somewhere at the top because you really don't know and i kind of hate that i wish you would it would tell you right now right now okay right now you're ranked 100 right and then you just know so you can climb the ranks i think it would be a lot better if it went like that uh it would be a lot more interesting but i do love the concept that you can do milestones so even though you're not even in the top five rankings you're not even in the top 10 it doesn't really matter because uh the higher you get in the rankings the better the rewards but even if you don't get that if you can achieve all your milestones then you still get a bunch of cool rewards that you can actually be happy about so either way it's kind of a win-win in my opinion because you you do your milestones and then no matter where you are in the rankings you're still going to get some kind of reward so i love this idea and it's great because it's not just one set arena it changes all the time so this will run for two days and then they're going to run a different style where uh you could be rewarded with some soul stones of a different hero so uh it's pretty cool i just wish that you were able to see where exactly you fall in the rankings okay so if you go back we can take a look at review last week's so this was last week's arena winner and you can see it's linebacker um this dude and he got six thousand points and it just tells you their guild and uh it tells you let me see what were the rewards so check it out for the rewards for being top five you get 100 captain america shards which is great and then a bunch of other goodies for promoting and upgrading so 
it's really cool and then it, if you go into it it'll just show you I guess different things hmm oh this shows me where I was huh or no anyways yeah that's just how the arena works guys so that's pretty much an overview of this game um, you guys let me know what you think if you if you like it you like the concept if you think it's gonna be sick let me know in the comments, guys. Uh, drop a like if you think I should do more content on it right now before it comes out. Because this will be released sometime this year. And once it's released globally, obviously I can do a lot more of these type of uh, videos. And let you guys know by then, I probably would have already tested out all the heroes and seen what they're all about. Alright, so you guys let me know if you enjoy this. And uh, that's about it, guys. I will check you out next time on another Marvel Strike Force video. Till then, peace out, everybody.